What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. We have all been waiting for season 5 to come out, but guess what? You don't have to wait anymore. We have everything that could have happened in season 5. Yes, do not worry, you will find out what could have happened in season 5 by the end of this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Unlike the other spin-off the originals, Legacies had a different vibe. Instead of older characters pretending to be teenagers, Legacies focused on actual young characters. The show had a lighter and more playful tone. It followed the students at the Salvatore School as they dealt with various enemies every week, often involving different monsters. As the ratings for Legacies kept decreasing, the show was eventually cancelled after its fourth season. This decision was made during the Warner Brothers Discovery merger. However, this doesn't mean that there weren't plans in place for a fifth season of Legacies. After the show was cancelled, Julie Pleck, the creator of the TVD universe, and several writers from Legacies disclosed that they had specific ideas for the storyline of a fifth season. These plans even involved bringing in some highly anticipated characters to expand the Vampire Diaries universe. Legacies Season 5 was set to continue from the end of Season 4, but it also aimed to take the Vampire Diary series in an innovative direction. Surprisingly, Breath Matthews, the showrunner of Legacies, shared that Season 5 would have included a time jump. Brett Matthews stated, We would have been in a time jump scenario. I think the fun of the fifth season would be to really take those characters who had reached such a good place in the school and then move them beyond it and throw them in lives beyond it, and seeing where they were and how they would all find their way back to one another. Although it might seem unexpected, the idea of a time jump becomes logical when you take into account the occurrences of Legacies Season 4. With one of the main cast members, Kaylee Bryant, departing, and others possibly following suit, their storylines concluded neatly. Resuming the narrative immediately after the events of Season 4 would be a bit awkward, given the significant changes. Evidently, the writers astutely recognized that using a time jump at the start of Legacy Season 5 would be the most effective approach to transitioning into the next storyline. By the way guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video, and for more updates, smash the subscribe button! Is Season 4's finale setting up legacies for Season 5's story? Although the conclusion was satisfying, the season finale of the Vampire Diaries spin-off contained several hints for a potential Legacy Season 5. In the Season 4 finale, Jed and Ben, now free from their curses, embarked on a journey together. Presumably, Season 5 of Legacies would have shown their struggles without their powers, revealing that what they saw as curses were actually valuable abilities. Additionally, the fifth season was intended to shift focus toward Caleb and Cleo. Season 4 suggested that Cleo's newfound clairvoyant powers as an oracle would play a significant role in the upcoming storyline. The Season 4 finale disclosed that Cleo had glimpsed a troubling future involving herself and Caleb, implying a tragic outcome. Meanwhile, in a different part of the universe, Landon's new responsibility as the ferryman of Limbo, the show's version of Purgatory, held significant potential for Legacy Season 5. Concluding his storyline at the end of Season 4 would have been acceptable, but it would have been intriguing to witness his exploration of the ferryman role. This would be particularly captivating, considering he sacrificed some of his human emotions to rescue his friends in the world above. Legacy Season 5 would have presented a notably different version of Landon, offering Arya Shagasemi ample material to showcase his talents. Lastly, the conclusion of the Legacy series surprised viewers as Alaric Saltzman declared his departure from the Salvatore School, relinquishing his role as headmaster. In an unexpected twist, his close friend and co-parent, TVD's Caroline Forbes Salvatore, was poised to take over as the new headmistress. The atmosphere at the Salvatore School would have taken a distinct turn in Season 5, likely becoming more serene under Caroline's leadership although this tranquility might not have lasted for too long. The Legacy Season 5 would have introduced Elena and Damon's Child, a significant attraction of Legacies akin to other spin-offs of The Vampire Diaries was the interwoven relationships among its characters. 
which revolved around their shared bloodlines, a central concept in a series encompassing vampires and various immortal beings. In the season 5 of Legacies, this thematic thread was slated to persist while also undergoing a dramatic shift. Notably, the introduction of Stephanie Salvatore, the offspring of Elena and Damon from the Vampire Diaries, stood out as the most remarkable alteration, as disclosed by creator Julie Peck. Stephanie was very much at the top of our whiteboard as a character that we were planning on introducing, should the show move forward. In my mind, Damon and Elena had kids in our timeline. The way we alluded to her in the Genie episode was as though she were 12 or 13, but in the Legacies timeline, their kids were younger, probably toddlers. The potential time jump would have been quite substantial if Stephanie's age had allowed her to enroll in the Salvatore school. Julie Plek has also unveiled the development of another Vampire Diary spin-off that was intended to directly emerge from the narrative of the recently concluded Legacies. Nevertheless, it would have been enjoyable to witness the involvement of other cherished characters' offspring in the storyline of Legacies Season 5. In the event that the third spin-off materializes, there remains a possibility for audiences to encounter these characters after all. How can the Legacies 5 story continue? Because there are definite and specific ideas for a storyline in Legacies Season 5, that doesn't necessarily mean it can't be conveyed through a different platform. An example of this approach was observed with another distinctive teenage vampire show, the legendary Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Following the conclusion of Buffy in 2003, Aside from the spin-off series Angel, the narrative was also extended through the medium of Buffy comic books, allowing the continuation of the Vampire Slayer's tale. Audiences consistently crave additional content from Julie Plek, and there's a valid possibility that Legacies Season 5 could be presented in an alternative format. The cancellation of Legacies despite its declining viewership was met with widespread disappointment. The series undoubtedly possessed untapped potential as demonstrated by the outlined storyline for Legacies Season 5. Consequently, the creators of the Vampire Diaries universe might contemplate transferring Legacies into a different medium to satisfy the audience's demands. But here is a twist. The Vampire Diaries Legacy creator didn't want it to end either. Julie Plek, one of the co-creators of The Vampire Diaries, expressed her disappointment about the absence of a fifth season for Legacies. The cancellation of Legacies by the CW marked the conclusion of the 13-year tenure of the TVD universe. This event marked the onset of the removal of genre shows from the network. Upon learning about the cancellation, Plek took to Twitter to convey her sorrow over the show's end. She likened the situation to the Red Wedding in The Game of Thrones, a reference to the shocking deaths of multiple characters during a wedding. She concluded her tweet by acknowledging that she would express gratitude towards fans, cast, and crew in forthcoming posts, but for the moment, they were in a period of mourning. Julie Plek faced challenges during that period. Apart from her role as a producer on Roswell, New Mexico, the conclusion of the Vampire Diaries universe meant that her influence on the CW diminished. Fortunately, Plex secured a new deal with Peacock to adapt the Vampire Academy book series into a TV show, allowing her to return to familiar territory. However, for enthusiasts of the Vampire Diaries, the hope for Legacy Season 5 was extinguished by the CW's decision. Regrettably, the question of whether there would be a fifth season of Legacies received a definitive negative response. So as we wrap up this exploration into the world of Legacies and its potential in Season 5, it's clear that the show has much more to offer. The idea of a new direction, the introduction of intriguing characters, and the shifting dynamics of the Salvatore School all promised an exciting continuation. But what do you think? Would you have loved to see Season 5 of Legacies unfold with its unique twists and turns? Let me know in the comments section.